We are the Farmer family, and we have been missionaries for most of our lives. We've been on some pretty epic adventures, and we thought it was about time to take you along. Hi, I thought I'd talk to you today about homeschooling on the mission field, some of the challenges that we face uh, living overseas and homeschooling, and also some of the positive things that have come out of homeschooling. Two-thirds, one, four, three, six. All right, sounds good. All right, so many of you that are homeschooling have a lot of challenges that you face already. That's common knowledge, but being on the mission field, there are some extra challenges that not everyone has to face. And one of those being is ordering books. Usually every spring, I will go through the books that the kids will be going into in the following year and figure out what I need to order, uh, what I'm missing, and I'll do that uh, March, April, around in there. And then in the summertime, uh, if we go to the States, then I will pick up those books and we'll bring them back down. Usually, um, I don't know if I miss something until after we've already started school in the fall. and. By that time, it's too late. Um, I may not have another opportunity to get more books down here, um, or I may have to wait three, four, six months until there happens to be a ministry flight or a business flight up to the States and I can bring more stuff back down. Thankfully, that hasn't happened too often. I think only one year I had gotten the wrong uh, test booklet and so I had to wait several months until I was able to get the new one down here. Um, but it definitely takes a lot more forethought and thinking ahead uh, for what you're going to need for the upcoming year. In case you guys are wondering, the curriculum that we use is Matthew C for all of the grades and then we use Abeka through fourth grade and in fifth grade we switch over to BJU Press uh, videos. Um, I really like the video series. It, it does a great job teaching the kids and then frees me up to work with some of the younger ones and also to have more time to do ministry. Um, the video series are a bit more expensive than just the books, but for us, I feel like it's definitely worth it. Another huge challenge is uh, a, having a library. We have no access to a library. Um, that's one reason why I have so many books, as you can see behind me. Um, that's just a portion of the books that we have. Um, every time I go to the States, I always bring a few more books back. and. Um, but it still is challenging when it comes to writing papers and doing research papers. Our kids don't have um, the resources to be able to find the information they need. Uh, thankfully, uh, the internet is uh, so popular now and we have easy access to the internet and so um, all of their resources basically need to come from the internet or their actual textbooks. Micah, what are you doing? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, you can have that. Another huge obstacle that we've had to overcome is um, some learning disabilities. Our oldest had dyslexia, um, and I did not really realize it until about third, fourth grade, somewhere in there. Um, and by that time, we were already established uh, here in Mexico. And so, I tried for several years to go through some special curriculum with him and help him, but it was just um, beyond my ability. And I, I was really at a loss as, you know, what to do? How do we get him help? You know, this is uh, not a quick and easy fix. Um, but thanks to a lot of your prayers, uh, God sent a woman from a missionary school here in Mexico and she had specialized training with helping kids with dyslexia and she was able to stay uh, with us for a week and do this program with, her, with him and be able to teach me how to continue on with it and that made a huge difference. Uh, still, um, of course, uh, learning 
uh, is more difficult for children with dyslexia, but we were able to have a few tools in our toolbox to, um, to help overcome that and to know how to address those issues. Um, also, um, Micah, our 10-year-old, has had some uh, speech delays and we've worked on speech too. Yep, there's Micah. And um, uh, during our times in the States for a few months, he was able to go and get some uh, training with a speech therapist who was a wonderful blessing to us. And she was able to teach me uh, some things that I could follow up with as well. And so we've been doing that for several years. I wanna say uh, seven years maybe. Um, and yes, it's definitely a lot more challenging for me as a mom and a parent to feel like I'm having to deal with these difficult issues, uh, mostly on my own. Um, and, and that kind of brings me to my last point of, of struggles that we have here on the mission field um, is just feeling like I'm all alone. like. I'm doing this without the support and backing. Um, there's no homeschool groups that we can be involved in down here. Um, there's a handful of other missionary families at homeschool. And so, you know, it's been great getting together and talking with them. But um, basically, there's not a lot of support structure um, for missionaries like us. There is a missionary school uh, associated with Ethnos 360 in Chihuahua, Mexico. So that is quite a ways from where we are at. Um, but I have been sending them the grades uh, for our kids for high school. And um, I, if I do have any questions, um, they can offer a little bit of support. Um, but it's been really nice being able to have them keep the grades for our kids and then they will also issue a homeschool diploma for them as well. Okay class, now what equals 7 plus 4? This one might be a hard one, but it will make it easier. It's going to be 11. Katie, don't be so grouchy. I think you should take a nap. Plus, there's no video games today. Kids, quit going off or I'll we'll make you all take naps and no video games. You must learn all of those math problems or you will be banned for games if you don't. The positive aspect about homeschooling is flexibility and just like all of you in the states who homeschool, we have a lot of flexibility here down on the mission field as well. Um, it's very convenient if there uh, is something comes up in ministry where we're extra busy, we can take a day or two off um, and it's not that big a deal. Um, it's been really nice for especially our older kids to be able to participate in ministry and get a real feel of what it's like to be serving the Lord alongside of us. Uh, some missionary families choose to put their kids in a uh, national school, which may be a great option for them. We have chose to homeschool because um, we want our kids to be prepared to go back to the States and uh, be ready to enter college and be on par with um, other kids in America and their schooling. Another advantage to homeschooling is that our children in high school are able to choose their own electives. They can pick the subjects that are interesting to them and spend some more time learning it. Uh, our oldest, Caleb, he did a YouTube video class. Um, he was able to uh, learn about how to use Final Cut Pro, edit videos, just like the ones that you're seeing here. He has his own channel called Epic MK Adventures. And Noah, he's been really interested in making coffee, and so he's done a lot of studying up on that. And also, he is interested in becoming a pilot. So all of the ground school and the flying course, that will be counted as an elective for him as well. This is another benefit for homeschooling. We could ask questions to the teacher. 
Uh, something else that our high school students have been involved in, and this isn't especially uh, specific to us being on the mission field, anybody in the States uh, can do this as well, but our two high schoolers have taken online Calvary University classes and they have counted as dual credit. They get uh, college credit as well as high school credit for them. Uh, and that's been a great supplement to our schooling and that they've learned so much through that. And um, they've even taken some Bible classes. Um, at this point, neither one of them are gonna to go to Bible school. So that had been a great opportunity for them to get a little bit more in-depth Bible training, um, to get prepare them for life. And our oldest, uh, who is in college right now, his very first year at Colorado Mountain College, he's already has like 18 credits um, towards his degree. And so that's an awesome jump start for him. The best thing about homeschooling is being involved in every aspect of my kid's life and not missing out on a single thing and being there for all the important and non-important moments. What about you guys? Do you have a best thing about homeschooling? Mm -hmm. Probably it's because it's shorter. You can get done earlier. Yes. I pretty much have the, la the easiest school because she's the youngest. Yeah. No? You know the best part? I'm going to do whatever I want. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching this video. And please, please subscribe and give it a like. Yes, subscribe and like, and if you have any questions about what homeschooling is like, put a comment below. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Are we doing everything? <laughs> yep, you're doing everything. You're perfect. All right, see you next time. See you next time. See you next time.